Oh my god, I'm telling you what. I'm really burnt out on the tarot and it's been uh it's been um uh, a draining day. And not a product in not in a productive way, but maybe it was productive soon as I may have avoided sabotage concerning what I'm doing to make money anyways. Um I just certainly hope somebody was arrested because something really big went down and uh, it's just been too many years of too much crap. So, anyways, um, I'm going to do this really quick. I kind of wanted to sew, sew my Yeti dress, but I mean, just fighting off so much attack and that energy. It's just unreal just unreal the whole thing um but yeah i would mention what i saw and how my response to it had so much hacking so i feel like i'm getting closer I'm getting hotter um but as i was pre-shuffling these were the first two cards i cut to change in wealth and right behind them was worry and the tower so basically the stolen hidden funds the stolen hidden inheritance the money that was frauded somebody's really really worried that the truth's coming out about it and it is don't you worry it is and the more federal crimes that have been committed against me the more obvious it's become i don't know if there are other people in the script but yeah, this is the significance of it. That's what the money's for. It's for art. Honestly, I wouldn't care about it. The only reason I need a little bit of funds is uh, I keep seeing the Queen of Swords. I got the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Um, the only reason I feel like I need it is because... Uh, um, with the tower that's causing the tower the hasty impulsive behavior to try to uh, thwart a completion is what's bringing on the tower and maybe even an arrest maybe even someone getting put in a turtle suit we can only hope it'd only be fitting um, as that's kind of what the, the damage that was done I really want to just sew my Yeti dress. Jeez. Yep, hasty, impulsive movement. Somebody trying to beat somebody else to a destination for a new beginning. Yep, that's the completion there space here so anyways I'll make this really really close um, yeah and keeping the chariot in the reverse trying to keep somebody stuck trying desperately to keep somebody stuck and from going forward um, I may actually look some of these up in the book but and Leo Sun energy true passion true love and I feel like this needs to go with the art card there creation because there's a lot of like actual like fertility and not fertility in the way that it's been used or misused in the past fertility that actually produces something very very worthwhile and lasting and it got the queen of cups in the reverse the one basically trying to make hasty movements forward Yeah, you're done. The Empress. This is about the Empress. It's the Empress's turn to get back what was stolen. Run out of room. Let's start layering them. I may have to look up some of these in the manual. This is my favorite. It's a cloth manual, by the way. I've got another one, but this one is. 
crunchy. <laughs> Spilled something on it. Oh, that's so sad. That's so very sad. Uh, what can you do? Uh, let's go to the art card. It's a good one. But basically, it's really like interesting as it lays out each of the symbolisms, the colors and stuff. So it's got like the meanings and everything. Um, but this is also like, it's a really handy sort of like book. I wish they made more books on decks like this when this whole forwarding thing shut down and uh, I get my um, consistent, stable, house with a studio, secure connection, <laughs> and devices, um, you know, I'll be working on my own decks, and uh, I feel like I have a lot of other projects going on, so it might be something that takes a while, but I do feel like I would kind of sort of like fashion my manual much in the same way. Um, the art card, I feel like, is that what sort of replaces the temperance card generally? Art card, a purgatory, a, a process of purification. The other reason I like this art card here is because it, I feel like it very much is the twin flame card. So I feel like it's fitting to sort of have it right here in between the Lust card, Leo card, you know, it's kind of the strength of the lion, the lion and the virgin with the queen of swords on the front and to put the empress with it as well. But it's sort of like a, a twin card. I wonder if it's Gemini just because of the faces. Unification of the two king's children refer to the lovers. So yeah, I feel like it is the lover's card and so it's Gemini energy. Um, doesn't mean that it necessarily has to do with the signs. I do have Gemini. It'd be kind of cool if my Gemini's in Cancer. I need to redo my birth chart. Karmics that have it. <laughs> but I need to refer to it again and know whether that's my actual birthday in the first place but um it's got a white lion and a red eagle ferocity fer ferocity that's a tough one to say first ferociousness <laughs> let's just say it that way and wisdom is what the lion and eagle stands for which i feel like definitely relates to the queen queen of swords and the king of swords are there um let's see what else the bee that's very relevant. The B is hard to see. Where is the B? Um, like a little round circle. And so I feel like it's up in her dress there. Eight circles on the chest of armor. Functional consciousness, flexibility, exchange, expansion of perspectives, and content of consciousness. Refer to justice card. Okay. That makes sense. Um, I feel like maybe somewhere else, maybe in the back is kind of where it refers to these, the art car, Sagittarius and Jupiter. Sagittarius and Jupiter. All right.